Hello everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Mr. Luke today with the continuing speaking session of IELTS. Two beings to today are Amy and Tina. Tina. Before I continue with the questions, the girls have to introduce themselves. So, who wants to be first? Um, let Amy. Okay, Amy, please introduce yourself. Uh, good evening everyone. Good evening, Miss Bello. Um, my name is Amy. But people here in Pinfoot Center call me Amy. I'm 15 years old. Last month, I passed the entrance exam to high school, so I will be a student in grade 10 at Tanfoot High School. Uh, I live in Binghua City with my parents, so I am an only child in my family. Um, when I have a relaxation, I listen to music, especially K-pop, and um, I want to be a doctor in the future. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much. Nice. You know, please tell the people about yourself. Hello, everybody. My name is Tina. That's spelled T I N A. I'm 14 years old, and now I am a student in Public Junior High School. This September, I will be studying Grade 9. And now I am living with my family at Donghai Province. I have patients in books. Especially is um, some novels from the others like William Shakespeare's. Oh, yes. classical ones. Yeah. Okay. Nice. nice. And I always have the passions in the language, and my um, best job, my best subjects is English. I'm very love it. Yeah, and I think in the future I want to do some jobs about English and. Yes. Communicate with um, another people. Yeah, foreigners in general. Thank you very much for a great job. Now, girls can be in six places in town. Restaurant, cinema, um, hotel, coffee shop, bar, and maybe museums. Museum? Okay, very nice. Can you tell me where can you have a meal? First of all. Oh, nice. Where else can you have a meal? Um, I think it's on the streets or maybe in the restaurant. Nice. Where can you have your haircut? I can have a haircut in a hair salon. Oh, nice. Excellent. Uh, can you tell me what can you do at the movie theater? Um, I can watch some new movies. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what can you do um, in the park? Uh, I can go cycling and do exercise in the morning. Nice. Can you tell me now, what is your favorite place in town, girls? Um, my favorite town in the... Uh, place my favorite in town. place in town is the library. Yeah. yeah. Because I love reading books as I said in my introduction. Yes. Yes. I always go here for three times a week. Mm -hmm. I always find some novels for reading. Nice. Thank you very much. How about your favorite place? Um, what's up the... Most interesting uh, places in my local area is the park. I usually go to there to keep fit and go cycling, and it helps me to do exercise and enjoy the breath in the morning. Thank you very much, nice girls. Now, <clears throat> uh, can you tell me six kinds of transport? Um, plane, yeah. bicycle. Bye. Bus, yeah. um, helicopter, nice. airplane, yeah. subway. Subway. What kind of transportation is the van? Land, sea, or air? The van. The van? Yeah. V A N, van. Is it sea, land, um, or. Uh, it is land. Land, <laughs> that's correct. Good job. Can you tell me, in your opinion, which is the best? kind of transportation? Um, in my opinion, uh, planes is the most safe. Uh, the safest? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when you have something is dangerous with the plane, it will be flown down for longer, for longer times and you will have the time for escape. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and we think in the whole life as well. Well, you better not uh, not have that time. Thank you very much. Uh, what about you? What do you think? 
Um, in my view, um, the bike is the safest transport because it can, uh, if, we, if you go for short distance, you can use bike and uh, it helps you to keep fit. Maybe yes? Yes, okay. Very nice. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about jobs and especially summer jobs because we are now in the summer. Do you think that students should work in the summer or not? Um, maybe I think it's good for the students because they can uh, learn how to earn money and how to use the money correctly. And I think it is the good it is the good thing for them to try more about um, some things in this. Yeah, yeah okay. Outside. Absolutely agree with that. Thank you. Uh, how about you? Um, I agree with her. Uh, students should have a summer job because they can use many skills uh, and they can communicate with the customer. Yeah, absolutely. Very important. Now, you said that you would like to be a doctor in the future. Yes. So my next question is uh, directly connected to, you, to uh, your introduction. So, which skill in your opinion, is the most important for a doctor? Um, in my opinion, the most important skill that the doctor need is become a good communicator. Because um, when the doctor can go to her to the patient, uh, the doctor can know more information about the patient. But at the same time, doctors can assistance, so. That doctors don't really need to be good communicators, yeah. but yeah, I accept you. That's a very good answer. Thank you. How about uh, about you, Dina? Um, in my opinion, being patient is one of the most important skill that the doctor need because when they have a lot of operations, they have to pay attention a lot. But if they have hot temples or out of the controls, mm -hmm. this may be very dangerous for the patient. Yeah, they will just start operating yes. in, anger. <laughs> in anger. Okay, thank you very much. That was a good answer. Girls, what is a healthy lifestyle in your opinion? Mm, in my opinion, a healthy lifestyle is that you need to balance about the mental life and the physical life. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, you need to be positive and always being happy mm -hmm. um, but um, you also need to uh, prepare your physical health like getting enough sleep, drinking water or eating a lot of vegetable or fruit Yeah, I absolutely agree Do you agree with her? Yes, I agree with her uh, Besides that, um, my opinion that you uh, a healthy lifestyle that you balance between uh, Study and relax. Okay. You right. can study. You can study too hard if you uh, don't need to relax. Okay. Okay. That's a very nice answer, though. Well. Thank you very much. Well, the last question for today. Uh, well, sorry. Uh, second to last. Can you tell me about the language you are studying, or you want to learn in the future? Yeah. English is my second language. I know that since I was born and I have been studying this for 10 years. At the first time, I feel English is very difficult because I can't remember all of the words that I have learned. But for a long time, I feel this very interesting and this is my passion. I always feel happy when I learn a new word or I can know what the foreigner oh, what, say, they what they want to say. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Nice answer. How about you, Amy? Um, English is my second language. Um, I started learning English when I was in primary. Um, mm -hmm. I chose English because my mom told me that um, a different language is a different vision of life. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. sentence gave me a lot of motivation. So I choose language. As I choose English, it's my second language. Um, learning English has many advantages. Um, for example, 
if you get lost in another country, you can ask the a foreigner mm -hmm. and learning English can help me a lot to uh, develop my critical thinking. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. So now we're coming to the very last question, which is how important is technology for you? Um, with me, the life is more modern for all the times longer. And I feel that technology is one of the important part in the life. Um, mm -hmm. But I think technology also brings some negative points in our life. Uh, for example, some people are very too much in technology and maybe our uh, our late relationship is be fathered. Mm -hmm. They don't talk to many people and yeah. don't want to go out, don't want to uh, communicate just mm -hmm. sitting in front of the TV or the computers or the In other words, you're saying that the oral communication is deteriorating yeah. and people just uh, keep communicating virtually through different platforms like Facebook, Twitter and so on and so forth. Which is a very nice, uh, nice answer to yours. Thank you very much, Tina. How about uh, you, Amy? Uh, in my uh, opinion, uh, technology has many advantages. For example, um, if I don't know something, I can go to, I can surf it in the internet. Mm -hmm. um, Besides that, um, it's had, it's had uh, many disadvantages that you depend on live too much and not focus on study. Yeah, yeah, absolutely agree about that. And uh, with this, we are concluding our speaking. Girls, say goodbye. Bye.